All right, and welcome back to another episode of Spyro the Dragon. All right, now this last one right here, the Wild Flight. Now I've actually done some practice runs on it, and uh, figure out how to do it. Now I didn't practice it that much, so this is gonna take me a lot of tries. I already know that's gonna be a thing. So anyway, without further ado, let's do this. Wild flight. This is gonna be a real tough one for me. Well, let's do this. All right, I gotta really concentrate on this one now. Ooh boy. already fucking up. That's when I start going downhill, so that's why I did a save state there. Got it! I'm sure I did some save states, but I really just wanted to get to this level, so I hope you don't hold that too much against me. <sighs> okay, well, that's that for that level. Yeah, I did save states, yes, I know. But I really did just want to get through this level, so that way I can move on to the next world. Okay, I should have what I should have really done is practice that a lot more before I really went into this Practice it without using save states Now when I do the reignited trilogy though, I won't be using save states then so it's a good thing I got and plus the controls will be a lot better. So I mean Yeah, the controls are pretty clunky. Yeah, that that really really doesn't help <laughs> If the controls weren't as clunky as they are, I bet that would make that so much easier. Because one one swift change in the joystick and you'd be hitting the water or running into a wall. Well, come on, go up the whirlwind, will you? All right, well. Okay. All right. Um, well, that's it for this world, this uh, hub world. So the, the, we only have one more left, which is Dreamweavers, and that place is pretty insane. Alright, so, well, let's go to Dreamweavers, shall we? Yeah. Although something tells me that I'm on the wrong side of the building. So... I did not want to fall into the muck. I'll be glad to get out of this swamp, by the way. Well, I gotta say, though, that was definitely a wild ride. Yeah, uh, it, it take me a lot more times to practice that. I practiced that over and over again this, uh, quite a few times. And I watched a, a walkthrough video on it, like, huh, probably a hundred times. And, uh, and then I practiced it a few times to get the feel for it. Oh my god, I bet that guy must have practiced and practiced out the ass to get it that good. So anyway, I just wanted to move on. <laughs> well, hey, I still did it. I mean, even though I use save states, I mean, 
And in a place like that, yeah, that's technically would be cheating, I know. But I did pretty good. I still had to practice just doing that over and over again, so... It's not like I'm trying to justify it, I'm just saying it took a lot of practicing just to be able to pull that off. To get to the point where I could even move forward. And actually, even when it was using save states, because you know I'd have to get there to that point before I there would be an even, even, an even point to even do the save states because obviously there's no point doing a save state if you uh, know you're gonna fail I mean seriously so it still took a lot of effort and a lot of concentration more than usual that's a funny sound huh <laughs> all right so we are in dream weavers yes I know it sounded like I was trying to justify cheating but Hey, it still wasn't easy to do that. So it's still very challenging for me. It just saved me a lot of time, mostly. From doing that over and over again about a thousand billion times. That's all that saved me from, really. So, let's... Now, this is Dreamweavers. And this is kind of a bane in my existence hub world. Don't get me wrong, I really like this hub world. It looks really pretty. And I especially like the skybox, too. Okay, he got big. Well, before we go doing... Uh, I can't wait till I get up there and kick your ass. That is such a funny noise. The only reason why I did save state right there is because I'm afraid of falling to my doom. Well, I do have some one thing to say about this hub world. It definitely looks like a dreamland. <laughs> and there's like pixies. Oh good, you can kill those guys. I swear to god, that is so weird. I take it he's not gonna make those guys normal. Ooh. I don't want to do that over again. But I will be going up there and kicking his butt. Ha, <laughs> those guys are so funny. Yeah, my uh, last, uh, the crystal flight, it took me, I recorded for 41 minutes on that. I just uploaded that episode and it cut it down to like 20 minutes. Goodbye. You were kind of a bane there in my existence, a thorn in my hip. Uh, I'm gonna be turning all these guys back to normal here. Let's uh, get that guy first. Oh no, he was already normal. Why'd I do that? This thing is kind of cool, I like it. Yeah, I'm sorry about my last episode that my commentary got cut off short too. I do apologize for that. That rarely happens. Almost never. It's only when something is not right, and in some ways. Hello, Zikoma. Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty <laughs> Yeah, me too. Awesome. Can't wait. Yeah, after. Oh my gosh. What the hell was that for, buddy? Now, Dreamweavers, this got some pretty difficult um, levels, if you know, you know, uh, realms you got to do. I mean, it's got some pretty difficult ones. I mean, it does make sense. It is the next, the last line of levels you got here. Don't you dare try and kick me. I don't think so. Yep, we're all getting close to being done with this, so it's about 73%. And this is the last hub world, so. Along with all its realms and levels and stuff. Okay, you're a funny little guy, aren't you? Well, let me get these gems first, and then I'll... And this dragon here. Measy. The fools you see in this world are invincible. 
but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. All right. That's my 60th dragon so far. I remember there's just one level in this hub world that really got to me once. It's that one where you gotta like travel around this building and you also get a flame up breath. Come here you turd face. Alright, what exactly do you do? I don't exactly know. I'm taking he does something so I can get to somewhere. Oh, that takes me back there, doesn't it? Now, what exactly does that Yahoo do? Oh, that's what he does. Okay. Ah, you get a free life out of that. That's nice. How many is left to uh, gyms in this place? <laughs> I haven't even scratched really the surface of that. Just only gotten over half of it. Just four gyms over half of that. Well, I have gotten a little over half in the gyms, so I mean... Oh, I gotta wonder, where's the rest of them? Oh, yeah, they're probably over there. Duh. I completely overlooked those guys, didn't I? What a dippity doodad. And I see another dragon over there. Those guys sound so weird. I'm gonna change them back to normal. They're kind of scaring me, actually. It's kind of like, uh... Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna go there. I like how it just does that automatically. And you are now normal. And now you are normal. Works for me. Without a doubt. Bow! Funny duddy. First things first though, I'm gonna get this dragon over here. Why? Oh, there's some more gems over here. Yeah, I like to always clear, try and clear the hub worlds first before I start taking on any levels, as you may have noticed. I'm kind of glad to start this world. It's my last one before, well technically there's one more, but it's, it's nasty's world, hub world really. Not very big, just one little island. Well, I gotta get over there. Well, at least there's one cool feature. You can just plop down wherever you want when you're gliding. It does come in handy sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. Dragon, you are now mine. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Okay. Freaky much? Alright, now I have a question. How do I get up there? I take it maybe there's some kind of stairs somewhere. Oh yeah, there is stairs. Over here. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Now we're getting it. Cool, Leo. Oh gosh, I see you guys. Green Jim on the moon. I see how this is gonna play out. All right, which one does that do? Come on, camera, move. Okay. That's so funny. I'm so doing a save stage right there. 
Yeah, I learned my lesson the last on that first one I blew up in that one world. To stay back with those two kind of things. Well, you're just about done all with all the gems here. I mean, although I'm still missing some. Looks like there's some Jimmies over here, Jimmy Two Shoes. Sparks, you missed one. You're supposed to pick them up. Or I'm still missing a tenner. Yeah, I keep stretching this, you know. Sparks' gym finder would really come in handy. Oh boy, okay. I think I saw something sparkling over there. Yeah, I saw something sparkling over here. Although it could have been just this portal. Aha! There you are! Well, it didn't take me long to find them, I suppose. Okay, well that does it for this hub world. Alright, so... See if that's everything. Alright, now, the first place I'm gonna do here... Is first I have to get off this platform, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start at the beginning and work my way to, to whatever I guess. Probably not done the worlds in the perfect order, but that's not the point. I mean, I like to do it, try to do it someone in somewhat order, I guess. But sometimes it's random, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, let's go ahead and go into Dark Passage. I like the skybox, too. Entering Dark Passage. Well, we've already been recording for 20 minutes. All right, we are now in Dark Passage. Let's see. I've actually been to this world just for fun once. Okay, so I have to wait till that the light comes on and so they're not so big of monsters ow that hurt my sparks is already blue around the gills and if I flame them the light stays lit I actually remember this one it's really coming back to me now those things look so cute don't they just wait until the dark comes yeah Hey, there's a whirly pearl, whirly wind over there. Keep your light lit, mister. Annoying man. Yeah, those dogs are cute right now. Just wait until the darkness comes. They won't be so cute then, will they? The enemies here can be quite frightening. But you should watch the fools. I'd rather blame the fools. Now you're thinking. Yep, that's what they're called, the fools. Okay. Well, that's a good description for them, I suppose. Okay, you're shooting an arrow. Ah-ha! I'm almost done demise. Come here, shroomish. I'm gonna call you shroomies. Mr. and Mrs. Shroomish Shoals. Yeah, those doggies get pretty nasty. I can still kill them though. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, let's flame the fools with dragon wings. They look like they have bat wings or something there. That's kind of funny. Hey, the shroomies coming. Those some of those shroomies came back. Thank you. Much obliged for the extra health. All right. Well, I'll probably be ending off this episode here pretty soon. So. What the heck and hell? I hate you. Hey! Quit throwing, you mean head. Ah, one more hit and that would have been a goner. Dude. 
give me that fly. That is so funny how that just turned into sparks. Just turned into sparks with green gills. Looking a little peaked there, aren't you, sparkles? Goodbye! I think they're a lot more dangerous when they're in the darkness. Hey, ZZ. Thank you for releasing me. Yeah, you're welcome, Mr. My 63rd one I've freed so far. Alright, well, I think that's it for this episode, everybody. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Episode, I think it's episode 15 or 16 now. I'm not too sure anymore. I have to look that over again. But, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a nice big old happy thumbs up. And also, don't forget to uh, get to sub uh, forget to subscribe. So that way you'll get all the latest notifications. And also, once once you subscribed, of course, hit that gray bell to turn on the notifications so you can get them. And you'll be notified every time I upload a new episode directly pretty much and um like always i'll see you in my next episode